In a world where bustling tourist destinations like Thailand, Malaysia, and Dubai draw crowds by the millions, there are hidden gems awaiting discovery. While some countries are always in the spotlight, others remain untouched, offering unparalleled experiences for fearless travelers. But amidst these treasures lie lands shrouded in mystery and danger, their beauty overshadowed by risk. Whether it's due to political unrest, terrorism, or other threats to safety, these destinations remain untouched by human footprints. So, join us as we uncover the charm of these hidden havens and navigate the delicate balance between adventure and caution. Let's embark on a journey beyond the beaten path, where every step holds the promise of discovery. Well, without further ado, let's get into the unexplored territories of our world. Number 10. Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau is a country in West Africa with an estimated population of over 2 million, and it borders Senegal to its north and Guinea to its southeast. The country has only recorded receiving just over 45,000 tourists every year for the last few years, and the number has been reducing over the years. There are various reasons for the low turnout, such as political instability and infrastructure issues. Guinea-Bissau has a history of political instability, including coups and political assassinations. The frequent changes in government and ongoing political tensions have created an environment of uncertainty, deterring tourists from visiting. The country's infrastructure is underdeveloped compared to many other tourist destinations. Poor road conditions, limited access to healthcare facilities, and unreliable public services can pose challenges for travelers and discourage tourism development. The country lacks significant tourism infrastructure, including accommodations, transportation options, and tourist attractions. This makes it difficult for visitors to plan and enjoy their stay, further contributing to its low visitor numbers. Guinea-Bissau has not actively promoted itself as a tourist destination compared to other countries in the region. Limited marketing efforts and a lack of visibility in the global tourism market have resulted in low awareness and interest among potential travelers. Overall, while Guinea-Bissau possesses natural beauty and cultural richness, its challenges in terms of political stability, safety, infrastructure, and promotion have contributed to its status as one of the least visited countries in the world. Number 9. Comoros The Comoros is made up of three islands in southeastern Africa. Located at the northern end of the Mozambique Channel in the Indian Ocean, Comoros boasts white sand beaches, clear seas and volcanic landscapes. However, despite this, the total number of visitors per year was only recorded at 40,000. Comoros is relatively isolated compared to other tourist destinations. It is located off the eastern coast of Africa, making it less accessible and requiring longer travel times for visitors. This remoteness can deter travelers from seeking more convenient or well-connected destinations. Like many countries in the region, Comoros has experienced political instability and occasional unrest. Number 8. Libya Libya has always been a mess, especially since Gaddafi fell over in 2011. But do you know that Libya has plenty lot to offer? From the world-famous epic Roman ruins of Leptis Magna to Gat the home of prehistoric rock paintings, Libya has it all. Ever since Gaddafi's reign came to an end, the country has been marked by ongoing conflict, including clashes between rival factions, terrorist attacks, and the presence of armed militias. These security concerns have led many governments to issue travel advisories, warning their citizens against visiting Libya and contributing to a decline in tourism. However, I feel the biggest reason for Libya being so down the list is the security threats in the country. The security situation in Libya poses significant safety risks for travelers. Instances of violence, kidnappings, and terrorist attacks have occurred in various parts of the country. This instability has deterred tourists from visiting Libya, as concerns about personal safety outweigh the desire to explore its cultural and historical attractions. Libya also has strict visa requirements for visitors, which can deter potential tourists from visiting the country. Obtaining a visa to travel to Libya can be a complex and time-consuming process, further discouraging tourism. Libya continues to grapple with political instability and civil unrest, which have hindered efforts to rebuild the country's economy and infrastructure following years of conflict. 
The uncertain political situation and lack of stability make it difficult for tourism to thrive in Libya. Number 7. Turkmenistan Located in Central Asia, this country receives less than 9,000 visitors per year. Despite extensive oil and gas being sourced from the country, and even having some of the very best infrastructure, the country is struck in poverty all thanks to their corrupt dictators over the years. And this authoritarian government is one of the biggest reasons for the low number of tourists entering Turkmenistan. The authoritarian regime tightly controls many aspects of public life, including tourism. The government closely monitors and restricts the activities of tourists, limiting their freedom to explore and interact with locals. This authoritarian governance style can create a perception of the country as unwelcoming or restrictive to outsiders. Turkmenistan's geographic location and political isolation contribute to its relatively low tourist numbers. The country is situated in Central Asia, far from major tourist routes and destinations. Additionally, Turkmenistan's closed-off political stance and limited interactions with the international community may deter some travelers who are unfamiliar with the country. Turkmenistan's tourism infrastructure is relatively underdeveloped compared to other countries. There are few accommodations, transportation options, and tourist amenities available, particularly outside of major cities like Ashgabat. This lack of infrastructure makes it challenging for tourists to plan and enjoy their trips to Turkmenistan. Number 6. Sao Tome and Principe Sao Tome and Principe is an island country in the Gulf of Guinea, off the western equatorial coast of Central Africa. Surprisingly, the island only has a population of 7,000 people, and over a year only 8,000 people visit it. Their isolated location makes them less accessible compared to other tourist destinations. Traveling to Sao Tome and Principe typically involves multiple flights and logistical challenges, deterring some travelers from visiting. Sao Tome and Principe have limited air connectivity, with relatively few international flights serving the islands. This can make it more difficult and expensive for tourists to travel to and from the country, further limiting visitor numbers. While Sao Tome and Principe have enjoyed relative political stability compared to some other countries in the region, they have experienced occasional political unrest and instability. Concerns about safety and security may deter some travelers from visiting, particularly those unfamiliar with the local situation. Despite these challenges, Sao Tome and Principe offer stunning natural landscapes, pristine beaches, and rich cultural heritage that appeal to adventurous travelers seeking some unique destinations. Number 5. South Sudan Since gaining independence from Sudan in 2011, South Sudan has become the world's newest country. Regrettably, it is also one of the most dangerous destinations to visit, with complete lawlessness. Since gaining independence in 2011, South Sudan has faced ongoing political instability and armed conflict. Internal conflicts between different ethnic and political groups have resulted in violence, displacement of populations, and humanitarian crises. The volatile security situation makes it unsafe for tourists to visit and has led many governments to issue travel advisories warning against travel to South Sudan. The security situation in South Sudan poses significant safety risks for travelers, Instances of violence, armed conflict and crime are common, particularly in certain regions of the country. The presence of armed groups and the proliferation of small arms contribute to an environment of insecurity, deterring tourists from visiting. South Sudan faces significant economic challenges, including high levels of poverty, unemployment and food insecurity. The country's economy is heavily reliant on oil revenue which has been affected by fluctuations in global oil prices and internal conflicts. The economic difficulties facing South Sudan make it difficult to invest in tourism infrastructure and promote the country as a tourist destination. Moreover, if you plan to go to the country, then remember that everything is crazy expensive. Number 4. Marshall Islands A nation consisting of a cluster of small islands in the Pacific Ocean is often regarded as a remote outpost. With a population of under 60,000, this country has been independent since 1986, although historically under U.S. administration. Interestingly, 
they continue to use the USD as their currency, mainly due to its isolation. The country only attracts 6,000 visitors annually. Situated in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and Australia, the Marshall Islands are geographically remote. Traveling to the islands requires multiple flights and long travel times, deterring many potential visitors who prefer more accessible destinations. Historically, the Marshall Islands have not been widely promoted as a tourist destination. Limited marketing efforts and a lack of visibility in the global tourism market mean that many potential travelers may not be aware of the attractions and experiences that the Marshall Islands have to offer. The Marshall Islands face environmental challenges such as rising sea levels, coral bleaching, and ocean pollution. These environmental concerns may deter some travelers who are concerned about the impact of their visit on the fragile island ecosystems. The country lacks extensive tourism infrastructure when compared to well-known destinations. Accommodations, transportation choices, and tourist facilities are scarce, especially outside of the capital city of Majuro and the tourist center of Kwajalein Atoll. This deficiency in infrastructure can pose challenges for travelers in organizing and fully enjoying their trips. While the Marshall Islands offer stunning natural beauty and rich cultural heritage, there are relatively few tourist activities available compared to other destinations. This lack of diverse activities may limit the appeal of the islands for some travelers. Number 3. Kiribati Kiribati is an island country in the Micronesia subregion of Oceania Slap Bang in the center of the Pacific Ocean, with a population of around 119,000. It's located between Papua New Guinea and South America, and it has an important link with Britain. Kiribati gained its independence from the United Kingdom and the United States to become a sovereign state in 1979. Surprisingly, the country only receives 4,000 visitors per year. Kiribati is one of the countries most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, including rising sea levels and extreme weather events. Concerns about the long-term viability of the islands due to climate change may discourage some travelers from visiting. Kiribati has a strong cultural heritage, but tourism development has been limited in order to preserve traditional ways of life and protect natural resources. While this approach is important for preserving local culture and ecosystems, it also means that there are fewer tourist attractions and activities available compared to more developed destinations. Kiribati has not been extensively marketed as a tourist destination compared to other countries in the region. Limited promotion and visibility in the global tourism market mean that many potential travelers may not be aware of the attractions and experiences that Kiribati has to offer. Number 2. Tuvalu Tuvalu, the fourth smallest country globally, is home to a mere 11,000 residents. Its capital, Funafuti, serves as the administrative center. Despite being a constitutional monarchy, Tuvalu employs the Australian dollar as its currency. Once a part of the British Empire, the nation has been independent since 1973. Tuvalu garners media attention due to its vulnerability to rising sea levels posing a threat to the very existence of the islands and the nation itself. Tourism infrastructure in Tuvalu is modest at best, with limited accommodations, transportation options, and tourist amenities available. Visitors may find themselves charmed by the simplicity of life on the islands, but the lack of modern conveniences can pose challenges for those seeking a more comfortable travel experience. However, for the adventurous few willing to embrace the rustic charm of Tuvalu, the rewards are plentiful with pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and vibrant coral reefs waiting to be explored. One of the factors contributing to Tuvalu's low tourist numbers is its geographical isolation. Situated far from major tourist hubs, getting to Tuvalu requires multiple flights and logistical planning, deterring all but the most intrepid travelers. Moreover, Concerns about the environmental sustainability of tourism in Tuvalu loom large, with rising sea levels threatening the very existence of the islands. The nation's vulnerability to climate change has garnered international attention, but it has also made travelers wary of visiting a destination at risk of disappearing beneath the waves. With careful planning and responsible tourism practices, Tuvalu has the potential to attract a niche market of eco-conscious travelers seeking authentic experiences 
in one of the world's most remote and enchanting destinations. Number 1. Somalia Often seen as the most dangerous country in the world to visit. The country is pretty much a failed state, and the country is now essentially divided into three nations, Somaliland, Puntland, and Somalia proper. And do you know Somalia get less than 100 tourists per year? After all there isn't much to see in the failed country, the nation has grappled with enduring political instability, pervasive violence, and chronic insecurity, making it an unappealing destination for tourists. Instances of piracy, terrorism, and armed conflict have plagued Somalia, leading many governments to issue strong travel advisories, warning against visiting the country. Historically, Somalia has struggled with governance issues and the absence of a stable central authority. This has contributed to a lack of law enforcement and accountability, exacerbating security concerns for both residents and visitors alike. Furthermore, Somalia's image in the international media is often associated with negative headlines such as civil unrest, humanitarian crises, and piracy. These portrayals reinforce negative perceptions of the country and dissuade potential tourists from considering Somalia as a travel destination. Additionally, Somalia's tourism infrastructure is severely underdeveloped, with limited accommodations, transportation options, and tourist amenities available. The lack of basic services and facilities makes it challenging for visitors to navigate and enjoy their stay safely. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Some of the countries mentioned in this list might be worth visiting if you want to give yourself a challenge, but some of them would be better left untouched, such as Somalia and Libya. If you found the video enjoyable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this in the future. Your support helps us create more videos and bring you even more engaging content. Thank you for watching.